At the close of each summer, everyone looks forward to attending Denver Botanic Gardens Fête de Fleurs. This year's party will be no exception. Denver Day of Rock is a one-day music festival benefiting the work of Amp the Cause. This free event features five stages of live music along Denver's 16th Street Mall. Go to denverdayofrock.com for more info. The Western History and Genealogy Collections at the Central Library are once again open to researchers for in-person use. Open Sunday through Thursday from 1 to 5 p.m. These limited hours are a reflection of the realities of our current construction and staffing situations. Nathaniel Rateliff is bringing his tour to Red Rocks Amphitheater, performing his most adventurous show yet, one that includes solo acoustic performances as well as rollicking hits performed with a full band. Join us for extended summer hours at the History Colorado Center. The museum will be open every Thursday until 8 p.m. While at the museum, be sure to visit our latest exhibition, Building Denver, Visions of the Capital City. The Underground Music Showcase is heading back to Broadway from August 27th through the 29th. After going virtual last year, Denver's annual music showcase will be back in person to rock Denver's South Broadway venues between 5th and Alameda. We can't wait to welcome you back to the Kirkland Museum. The public is invited back on Friday, August 27th. Go to kirklandmuseum.org for ticket and hours of operation. And that's a quick look at what's happening in Denver this week.